My name is Rodolfo Mendez. I'm the artistic director of Ballet East Dance Company. Our next collaboration with Proyecto Teatro will showcase Mexican corridos. A corrido, it's a story, and the singer can be seen as a narrator, if you will. Um, a corrido consists of anything from current events, political and social issues, love stories, um, stories that involve intense emotions. Historically, corridos were a way to communicate with the masses. The singers and their musical group would actually travel to the villages and would distribute news, if you will, um, through music. So it was kind of like the YouTube and CNN of today. A corrido is broken down into three parts. The beginning is the salutation of the singer. It's him greeting the masses. And then there's a prologue to the story. Then it's the actual story itself. And then of course at the end we always have a moral, right? We always have a lesson that we need to learn. We learn from our actions, correct? And then a farewell from the singer advising others to, to do right, right? And that something good always comes out of you know, whatever life throws our way. I grew up in South Texas, Laredo, Texas. My grandfather is an accordion player. Growing up, I remember going out to the backyard and he would say, Erica, bring out the tape recorder. And I already knew what that meant. That meant we were gonna have um, a live recording session. We actually started off with corrido music. We'd also record mariachi music together, but corridos were his favorite. Um, he'd been playing corridos for many, many years, like ever since he was a child. Our corridos basically consisted of our own personal life stories. So we'd actually make up our own lyrics on the spot. That was a lot of fun. I think at home we probably have dozens and dozens of cassettes filled with our personal live recording sessions. When I listen to them now, they just bring a smile to my face and they make me feel incredibly happy. Those special moments that I shared with him most definitely had a deep impact in my life and played a huge role in my overall musical development and my undying passion for music. Nowadays, corridos have become more modern. They lean towards more intense subjects, as opposed to the corridos from yesterday that were more about peasant life. The writers of corridos, I feel that they pour out their emotions through their lyrics. They still sing about love. I'm the artistic director of Proyecto Teatro, and we're a nonprofit arts organization here in Austin with the mission to preserve and promote the Latin American culture and Spanish language overall. Our organization collaborated with Ballet East last year in producing Hear Me, See Me, which is a fantastic production about the tales of immigrant youth here in the United States. And after the tremendous success and how well the community received the project, um, we were inspired to continue telling the stories of our community in very innovative ways. Um, and so we decided to jump on board on, on this project based on corridos. And so we're trying to, with this project, inform our community of where they come from and find ways of inspiring youth nowadays to use formats like that to express themselves, one, so they can be heard, and two, to actually preserve their culture because they're amazing, amazing cultural qualities to corridos. Similar to Hear Me, See Me, we will be using uh, different dance genres, ballet to contemporary and modern to even folklorico, and so mixing all these genres of dance to give it that awesome texture that dance provides um, a production. Then we go into singing to song. The corrido is primarily um, song-based artistic disciplines, as well as stage acting, um, even lighting and the costume designs. Too. So we'll be as well utilizing uh, video and surtitles. This project will be presented completely in Spanish to fulfill the mission of preserving the Spanish language, but it will include English surtitles for our non-speaking, uh, non-Spanish speaking patrons and to be really inclusive of all of the diverse community of Austin. We're kind of trying to hit each one with one project. You preserve your culture, you inspire youth to think of innovative ways of sharing their stories. If they don't have the means to upload a video on a social media website, well they can get a pen and paper and write kind of like what their grandfathers used to do and inform people. Um, I think that's information and knowledge are of utmost importance, especially in underserved communities. So by inspiring them and educating them, they, um, they can definitely have a head start in, in their lives.